Hello Leo, welcome to another reading. This is going to be a special reading where we'll look at what's coming your way in the year 2021. We're going to be looking at what's coming your way in love, career, and finances. We're going to be looking at the major lesson you'll learn this year and then we'll kind of break up um, the subjects. We'll do a spread for career and finances. We'll do a spread for love. And then in the extended, we're going to dive in deep. We're going to look at every single tarot card specifically uh, clarify the lesson. Uh, we'll look at what's your biggest challenge or obstacle in 2021 and what spirit has for advice for that. And then we'll also look for advice in career and finances and advice in love. So we're going to look at a bunch of stuff, but first we're going to jump in here and start with the major lesson you will learn in 2021. So I'm going to be using the soul's journey lesson cards for this. What messages spirit do you have for Leo, spirits, angels, guides. What is Leo's biggest lesson in the year 2021? What is the big lesson that Leo will be learning in the year 2021? For Leo, what's the biggest lesson they'll be learning in the year 2021? Now, for all of the oracle cards, I am going to be reading from the booklet, so... Uh, just feel free to fast forward if you're not into that, but I'm doing it on purpose because I want to make sure that if there's a message in there that someone receives it. So what is the major lesson that Leo will be learning in the year 2021? Ooh, we got love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Wow, what a great card. So let's look at that real quick here. See what the message is. You are love. It is your inherent vibration. The obstacles and challenges of the physical dimension attempt to trick you into thinking that there are other ways to view life, but there is only one way that is natural to your being, love. This card simply reminds you that your soul is made of God's pure divine vibrational force of love and that you need to bring this awareness to bear on every aspect of your life and being. Love is a healing energy. All anxiety and drama cannot exist in the aura of love. Most souls have come back upon this earth to learn, accept, and utilize this harmonic force and to see its effect upon their lives. It is your time to remind others of the strength of their own power of God and assist them in knowing fully that love is the most powerful element in the universe. It builds, fortifies, and strengthens even the most lost person. When we live in the power of love, then and only then will we know truth. True love is the spiritual link between us and spirit. It will guide our footsteps through the conflicts of the material world and will cleanse our hearts of unwanted facets of the human personality. So what I'm seeing here is, um, I'm not just, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of self-love, like um, a healing love. Love is a healing energy that just stood out to me for you, Leo. So I think that's a special message is that despite what happens in 2021, I feel like self-love is going to be very important. I feel like it's part of the healing process for you. Um, I feel like you probably need reminding, um, a lot of you anyway, need some reminding that um, the most powerful element is love and love is all-encompassing and opens doors at the end of the day. So let's see what we get for you in the rest of 2021 in terms of career and finances in terms of love let's start with career and finances spirits angels guides what messages do you have for leo in career and finances for the year 2021 let's see what we get for you guys what is coming leo's way in career and finances in the year 2021 what is coming leo's way in career and finances for the year 2021 spirit for Leo strategy number 21 so let's see number 21 strategy this card shows a pen journal compass and key when you receive this card upright, it indicates that this is the optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals. Write about the direction you want to go in. Consider any potential change in course that may be needed. 
Be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind. Structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goal a reality. This card is telling you to spend some time setting things in order. It's time to take full control. Add thought to action and set your sights on the road ahead. So this is all about making a plan. So any idea that you have in terms of career finances, maybe um, some of you can take some time and journal, make a list. Um, you know, we are in a new year, so uh, resolutions. Um, but this is definitely also about putting dream into action, putting, you know, not just dreaming, but making a plan. So let's see what we get. For the tarot, I'm using the wheel of the, of the year tarot. This is a new deck for me and I thought it was appropriate for this reading <laughs> or this set of readings that I'm doing. Spirit angels guides for Leo, please. Messages regarding career and finances. What do they need to know? regarding career and finances. So I'm picking four cards, um, one to kind of resemble every quarter of the year, but I'm also looking at it as a, in a, um, as a whole. What is coming Leo's way in terms of career and finances for the year 2020? 2021, for the year 2021, my goodness. What is coming their way? What is coming Leo's way in terms of career and finances for 2021 spirit for Leo, please. We got the chariot cancer energy here. This is all about movement forward. What else for Leo? We have temperance reverse. So something is still coming together, slowly coming together for you. But I feel like with the chariot, you're on the right path towards success or you will find the right path to go on. What else? The star reverse, Aquarius energy. You're getting all major arcanas, major shifts in energy for you. One more, please. So something um, is gonna feel hopeless or perhaps there's a lot of healing that needs to take place or just um, maybe um, you're lacking faith in a situation regarding career finances. Um, I don't think you should let this get to you because I feel like there's something that's slowly coming together. It's just not the right time. One more, please, for Leo regarding career and finances in the year 2021. Five of Wands reverse. So no more fighting, no more drama, no more competition here. Um, also, I'm getting winner. So ooh, we have death at the bottom. Scorpio energy. I feel there's going to be a change here for you. Maybe there's an ending. Maybe you get a new job because I'm thinking, I'm picturing you as a winner right now. And the chariot is also a card about success. Um, I feel like a lot of you are um, going in a different direction here. This is the overall energy, uh, the bottom of the deck, death. So an ending, a transformation, a change. So let's clarify the main energy here for career and finances. So the main energy here is death, which is all about endings and beginnings. Um, it could be a rebirth. It could be um, a change in job, a change in living situation. Um, I'm also seeing like a transformative energy. Let's see. What messages do you have for Leo? Help me clarify spirit, this death card. Why is death the overall energy for career and finances for Leo? Why is death the overall energy for career and finances? Page of Swords. Some sort of communication coming in, a message. This is also research, curiosity, important conversations. Tell me more about death, please.
We got three of swords and three of cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like there's probably like a job or some sort of um, situation where maybe it's not what you expected. Um, it's not working out. Maybe you're not getting along well with someone at work or perhaps there is something that you thought you were gonna celebrate but instead it was just disappointing. And that's why things are changing for you here. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the Emperor. So this energy of coming into your own, taking charge of your life, of especially what it has to, when it has to do with career and finances, you are taking charge. You are in control. I feel like this Emperor is really evaluating the situation and making some tough choices here. Um, perhaps you heard or found out something about a position or a promotion. Perhaps you weren't chosen for a promotion. Something like that was disappointing. But I feel like that's going to push you to make a change. And at the end, towards the end here, I see you as a winner. I see you overcoming any conflict or difficulty. And I feel like, you know, maybe at some point there, you kind of were doubting that that's, that was going to happen for you or doubting that things would work out for you. Because I see you kind of feeling like this is a hopeless situation. Um, maybe you're not taking care of yourself. Um, maybe you're letting yourself, you know, kind of get bogged down. But it's only because it's just not the right time. We will clarify those further in the extended, but let's see what's coming your way in love in 2021. What messages do you have for Leo? In the terms of love and relationships. What is coming Leo's way in love spirit? In the year 2021. What is coming Leo's way in love? Oh, that is way too many. What is coming Leo's way in love? In the year 2021. No, I don't want that one. I don't want to pick a card yet. What messages do you have for Leo spirit? Yep, there we go. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love. Love yourself first. This is what I was kind of picking up. Self-care is very important in 2021. Um, let's see what else we get with the tarot. Loving yourself first. Um, also, I feel like you're attracting something new by loving yourself first. What is coming Leo's way in love? In the year 2021. So for Leo, what is coming Leo's way in love? In the year 2021, spirit. What is coming Leo's way in love? For 2021. King of Cups reverse. It's coming Leo's way in love. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It does not have to be. But I feel like there's disappointment here. Yeah, two of wands. Once again, that, that whole concept of uh, change. With the two of wands, this is a new path that's being chosen or you're thinking, planning about going down a different path here. Maybe patiently waiting or, you know, and it's a path of, you could even be choosing between two people. It's two very different paths you could go down. What is coming Leo's way in love? The wheel reversed. Once again, timing. The timing is not right or things just don't feel like to be moving forward here. The wheel reverse is not a negative card per se. It just means that things are going to be a little bit more difficult rather than easy and like smooth sailing. There's going to be some challenges along the way, but you still will be able to have a change. Oh my God. We have the two of cups. What was I just saying? Yeah, this is um a very special connection here. You see what I'm saying? It's like you attract something new. This is new energy that I'm picking up here. And it's like at first it didn't seem that way. 
bottom of the deck we have the six of cups reverse some of you could be kind of um thinking of the past a little bit too much maybe there's someone returning from the past we'll clarify that right after that we have the ace of pentacles just just so you can see the ace of pentacles. but this is like beautiful right here very strong connection there so let's clarify the six of cups reverse this could be a card about being stuck in the past or continuing to think of the past um, this could be a, a card about returning to the past as well tell me about this six of cups reverse for leo why is the six of cups reverse for leo spirit Seven of Cups. Choices, options. Maybe there's confusion regarding a past. Maybe someone needs to make a choice that is related to the past here. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. I really feel like this is the year um, where you are going to have to make some sort of decision. Um, I feel like in the beginning of the year or maybe, you know, somewhere in the near future, there's disappointment with this King of Cups reverse. But I feel like that leads you to make a decision here. And I feel like it's going to be slow, a slow, um, I don't know, it's almost like this is not going to be a change that happens overnight. But it there is a special reward here. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. Knight of Wands. Someone could be coming to see you. There could be someone very attractive here. We have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, this could be somebody coming to, to talk from the past or maybe you're having discussions with the past. Fire here with the uh, Knight of Wands and then Air Sign with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're gonna be, um, you know, if this is someone returning to you from the past, there are going to be some serious conversations taking place. A lot of, um, is, this could be quick with the Knight of Wands. Can I get one more with the Six of Cups reverse? Queen of Swords is very protective of her heart. Um, they tend to kind of be a little distant. Um, they're hard to read. I feel like this is very different energy from this Knight of Wands. Eight of Swords. Ten of Cups. Someone could be stuck in a family situation with the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Cups. I'm also getting someone's overthinking about what their ultimate happiness will be. Will they have a family? Will they get their happy ever after? Will they have a happy ending? Perhaps you're, you know, I, I'm getting the message that some Leos, um, you thought your happy ending was in the past or with someone from the past. I don't think that's the case. I think you are mentally blocking yourself from something, from options, from a new path, a new beginning. I feel like self-care, loving yourself first, gaining confidence, gaining self-respect, it's going gonna, it's gonna to allow you to attract someone specifically for you. Someone that, you know, I, I mean, I just think it's very um, telling that we have love as the main lesson for 2021. It's almost like you have to learn to love yourself and, and you know, respect yourself I feel like that will bring you a happy ending I just don't think you see that yet we'll clarify that in the extended um, we're going to be looking at each of these cards specifically we're going to be clarifying the main lesson um, clearly there's something really good happening for you in love and a big change when it comes to job and career but I feel like you're, you're going to be on the right path. You could even be doing some traveling, some of you. Um, but we're going to be clarifying each of these cards. The major lesson, we're going to be asking Spirit for advice and also um, for advice for career and finance, advice for love. And also, what's the biggest 
challenge or obstacle in 2021 that you'll be facing and what advice does spirit have for you to overcome that we're gonna look at all of that in the extended if you're interested the link is right down below this video the first link in the description box um, thank you so much for checking out this video i hope that it brought some clarity or it resonates for you or you want to claim this reading let me know down in the comments um, keep in mind that nothing is set in stone this is we all have free will we can all change our minds choose different directions to make different choices that can affect the outcome for the year but i feel like this is a special message for leos and you know maybe you can keep this in mind throughout the year and of course return to this video if you'd like to see how things change for you um, but this isn't you know this isn't set in stone um, Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. Um, check out all of the decks that I use. They're linked down below in the description box. Uh, join us in the extended if you'd like. If not, then I'll see you in another video, Leo. Take care.